And I am Muhammad Fahid of 9th. I am Sahil of 9th. I am Hadi from 9th. Today we are going to present an innovative way of learning the concept of circles and its properties. Hi Sufaidu, yeah. uh, what are you doing? I am really confused about the parts of this circle, so can you please explain the parts? Uh, a maths teacher has shown us an activity which is going to uh, help us learn the circles in a much easier way. So, I will call upon Sahil to help us with the circle. This is the center point of the circle, which makes it the center of the circle. Yeah. And this is the center of the circle. Yeah. And the arc is a part of the circle, which is a curved shape. And there are two arcs in a circle. The smaller one being minor arc, and the major one, and the larger one being major arc. This one is a minor arc, and this one is a major arc. Yes. And the line that joins two points from the circle is called chord. This one is a chord. Yes. And the chord and the arc divide the circle into two halves. Not perfect, but still one will be smaller and one will be larger. The smaller part is called minor segment and the larger part is called major segment. This one is a minor segment. This one is a major segment. And as you can see, the length of the chord keeps on increasing to a level in which it passes through the center of the circle and when it passes through the center of the circle the chord it creates a chord named diameter the diameter is the longest chord in a circle this is a diameter and it also divides the circle into perfectly two halves which is semicircles these two halves are semicircles yes, yes. This line is the radius. The radius is the line drawn from one point of the circle to the center point of the circle. And when two radii and an arc is joined together, it forms a it divides the circle into a part called sector. Sector. And there are two sectors in a circle. One, the minor sector, the smaller one, and the major sector, the larger one. This one is the minor sector, and this one is the major sector. And uh, I hope you understand the parts of the circle. Yes. Now, is there any other doubt? I am also really confused about the theorems of this chapter. Our friend Hadi will explain the theorems. Okay. Hi, Sufit. Yes. Seems that you are confused about the theorems okay. of the chapter circles. Uh, I can help. I can explain you about the theorems. So, the first theorem states, equal chords of a circle subtends equal angles at the center. These both are the chords. These both chords subtend equal angles at the center. If they are equal. Let us say they are equal or not. Yes. See, and as you can see, this line, this chord is equal to the, to other, the other, other chord. chord. These both chords are equal. Now let us measure the angles. As you can see, this angle is perfectly equal with this angle. So, if this chord is equal to the other chord, then this angle and this angle will be equal. Yes. Now, the second here. A perpendicular line drawn to the center to the chord bisect the chord. A perpendicular line drawn through the center to the chord bisect the chord. Let us see this line is perpendicular or not. You can see that this is a right angle. Now while measurement, it is right angle. So it means it is perpendicular. Now let us check the measurement. This is the chord. Now the theorem states it by 
the perpendicular line bisect the chord into bisect the chord it means it divide it into two equal parts angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any points on the remaining part of the circle this is the next theorem yes. so angle subtended by an arc angle subtended by an arc is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle so this is the arc this angle is subtended by the arc now let us find the measurement as you can see this is the measurement of this angle and this angle's double will be this angle so this angle's double will be this angle so the angle at the center will be double of this angle yes yes now the next theorem angles on the same segment of a circle are equal angles on the same segment of a circle are equal these three angles are subtended by this chord so the angle states these angles will be equal let us find out so you can see this angle is equal to this angle and is also equal to this angle which are bisected by and in subtended by the same chord so this angle and this angle and this angle are equal and subtended by a chord yes yeah. now the next theorem Last but not the least, each pair of opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is supplementary. This is a quadrilateral. It is a four-sided polygon. A, quadri a quadrilateral with vertices on the circle is known as cyclic quadrilateral. So the theorem states each pair of opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral are, e are supplementary. So let us take the measurement. This is the measurement of this angle and this the measurement of this angle. As the theorem, theorem says, sum of the opposite angles are supplementary. So let us join. After joining, we get a straight line. A straight line is, is 180 degree. So in a cyclic quadrilateral, the angle opposite are supplementary. Yes. Right? Yes. So this is all from the theorems. I hope you understand. So thank you friends for explaining the concept of circles and its property. I, I have understood their parts and the properties. Hope you guys also understand. Thank you and have a good day.